Jag Manga, Jaggy Sports. Um, I don't know if anyone caught that game last night from the Lakers and the Sacramento Kings. Um, weird ending, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I, I, I agree with Alvin Gentry because that last play should have been the Kings uh, inbounding the ball, but uh, I don't know what the refs were smoking. But yeah, I agree with Alvin Gentry, but Lakers won. So, uh, Russell Westbrook had no turnovers, zero. And on, e on the first take today, they uh, had a pretty heated discussion. Is Russell Westbrook the solution to the Lakers' answer, right? Like, to the, uh, to the Lakers' quest for championship. And I'll let you guys watch this clip. And also, I'll let you guys know about some any any uh, trade speculation, which there is at the end of this clip. If Russell can continue to play this well and also error free, you think he's going to be part of the Lakers championship solution? He he is going to be the solution. Here's the thing about Russell Westbrook. Okay, the thing that we all have to realize. Uh, you know, Swaggoo, you said this on, on the podcast. When a person show you who they are, you have to believe, believe. them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is not a this is not a knock on Russell Westbrook, but Russell Westbrook is who he is. Okay, it's no in between with him. It's almost like a batter coming up to bat. Russell Westbrook is either gonna hit a home run or he's gonna strike, strike out. out. It's no getting on first base, second base, or third base, and that's okay. That's who he is. He's gonna swing for the for the fences. That's why he lives by the motto, why not? Okay, but here's another thing while we're diving into this. We're not going to sit up here and overreact to the Lakers winning these last three games or for last four <laughs> games or however many Thank games you, for the simple fact that for the simple fact that they haven't beaten no damn body, okay? Yeah. They haven't beaten no damn body. They have had the fifth easiest schedule in the NBA. And you go back and look at their 20 wins, it has been a lot of teams below 500, okay? A lot of them, I said, except for like two of them. So at the end of the day, I know Russell Westbrook has got a lot of criticism, and rightfully so. Russell Westbrook had to agree to this trade. He knew going team up with Anthony Davis and LeBron James that he was going to be a lot of pressure. He knew that it was going to be championship or bust. He knew that he had to critique his game. And see, here's the thing about Russ. See, Russ knows what he be doing, okay? After the last game where he had nine turnovers, he went and he did his post-game interview and he said, I'm going to continue to play the way I play. I don't worry about turnovers. And then all of a sudden he come out last night and he had zero turnovers. <laughs> yeah. That means he's a damn lie. He do care about turnovers. So that's how I feel about Russell Westbrook right now, and that's how I feel about the Lakers. With this team currently sitting a game over 500, um, I have long said that I think health is the bigger issue as opposed to the age of this group. Now, do I have them coming out of the Western Conference? No. But I would agree that Russ is a part of the solution because the one thing you can bank on with Russ, whether you love it or hate it, is the amount of energy with which he is going to play the game of basketball. And that means defensively, that means crashing the glass, offensive boards and defensive boards, just like fire, you know, fire can do damage or fire can warm your home. It is about figuring out how to best contain this mm -hmm. version of Russ alongside LeBron James. But I, I, I have a hard time believing that with all those pieces around him, and in particular, LeBron James, a guy who we celebrate as a leader and a communicator and a basketball mind, can't figure out a lane in which Russ's style of basketball and his energy can be valuable to what this Lakers team needs. And so I, I looked it up. I was trying to find some great way to quantify what happens when he doesn't turn the ball over. And in his 12 games this year where he's had three or less, the team is just 600. But <laughs> it does show that he can hold on to the basketball to a, de a degree. And so I, I don't. I think blaming everything on Russ's turnovers is a slight oversimplification because I think Russ brings an energy that this squad is going to need if they're going to be serious at any point this season. Perk, you got to react to that. I see your face. It, yes, yes, because, Monica, we, we were going back down memory lane again. You and I last week, the Lakers' goal is to win a championship, okay? Not to be good, not for Russ just to play hard. But Nobody has ever questioned. No? But 
Yeah, yeah, but nobody's ever questioned Russ' mentality. No, this is why Kobe Bryant blessed him with the Mamba mentality. Nobody's ever questioned that. But when you're trying to win a championship, it's a level of intelligence that you have to pick up. It's a level of, of, of understanding the game and cutting down on those turnovers that you have to have in order for you to win a championship. Russell Westbrook wasn't just brought to L.A., Monica, on a simple fact to, for them just to be good or just just for them to make a little noise. No, he was bought there. They gave up half of the damn team, including Kyle Kuzma, who, by the way, is balling like Don't crazy hurt. down there in Washington. What? Help me. Help me, though. Help me. Help me, Perk, because I hear you, and we agree on all that. But did you expect this man to show up in L.A. and throw out the bathwater that he's been cooking up for a decade or so in terms of who he is? I hear you. Russ has to come to a place as a basketball player and being willing to think the game that he has to be better. But the idea that he was going to show up in L.A. and be somebody different, like, what are we doing? What, 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 what's the point of showing up? What's the point of showing I, up? Because you could stay right there and watch it. No, no. Because he, he got paid, no, okay? You, you agree. He got put into a you, good situation. You, you, hey, Marcus, you, look, you're crossing your arms over here. I need to, you to break this tie because these two are going at it. I don't, I, hey, listen, I know the producer's telling you, I don't need to break no tie. I want to continue to hear this. <laughs> Y'all go ahead. I want to hear yeah, this. No, I, I, no, no. I need to understand this, Monica. Listen, to everybody out there, just know that I am a huge Russell Westbrook fan. If you've been following me since I've been in the TV business, you know that I'm a Russell Westbrook rider. But at the end of the day, Russell Westbrook agreed to get traded to the Los Angeles Lakers for one reason and one reason only. To go there with LeBron James and Anthony Davis to do what? Help deliver a championship. Nothing else. Nothing else, Monica. Uh, okay. Now we get to the part where you know how this works first. That was the plan, but even the best laid plans fall apart. And so, yes... <sighs> If we're having a conversation on whether or not this trade will be viewed as successful or not based on the championship success, I think that's a different conversation. So there you have it. Pretty heated discussion. M my opinion, they, um, Russell Westbrook is not the solution to this just because he had one good game. And, you know, he, a buddy of mine had to remind me that uh, he generally picks it up after he gets to know his team. And it takes him a while, but he he tends to pick it up. So like in f late February, March is when Ru and April is when Russell w Br Russell Westbrook starts to pick it up. And um, trade speculation is that internally the Lakers are looking to trade him because this is not going according to plan. But um Russell Westbrook has $44 million, I think, this year, and I think 40, 49 or 47 next year. Pretty hefty price tag. And uh, I'm not sure anyone, any team that wants to take on that, uh, that contract. So I know that they're having internal discussions, but Westbrook to get traded, that would be very, very, very hard. Um, I know Taylor Horton Tucker is being discussed for sure. Kendrick Nunn as well. Kendrick Nunn makes I think makes five million. I'm not 100 percent sure. And uh, um, uh, Taylor Horton Tucker, a THT makes about ten. So that's about 15 million dollars. And you know um, that's just a rumor. Like I said on yesterday's uh, YouTube. Um, Basically, basically, they cannot trade him until after January 15th. That's 10 days away from now. The trade deadline is February 10th, so we'll see what happens. But going back to the original question, is Russell Westbrook the solution to the Lakers' quest for a championship? My answer is no. Um, let me know what you guys think on the comments section, and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Jag Manget, Jaggy Sports.